Hey everybody, thought I'd make a quick video here this morning. I'm going to be doing an ancient history news video in the next day or two. I have plenty of stories and thanks to the people who sent me in a lot of good stuff over the week. I finally got to look at it after I got back home to Las Vegas. Also want to thank Brian Forster for doing that interview with me yesterday. But today I'm going to use a story here that I'm not going to talk about in my ancient history news video, but I'm going to talk about it this morning. Pompeii, right down here. I have talked a lot about natural disasters in my videos. I have talked about volcanoes, impact events, the after effects of those events. But here is the site of one of the most famous eruptions. Here is Vesuvius, Pompeii, right down here. Today, Naples, right on the other side. But it just makes you wonder about the implications for today's people living on this coastline, right next to this pretty huge volcano right down here. But an interesting story came out, and I might be mentioning Vesuvius in an upcoming video, because when this erupted about 1940 years ago, the gentleman who I'm going to be talking about in a long video, supposedly the way history is written, his wife and child died in this eruption right down here, 1941 years ago. When this eruption went off, it buried Pompeii, and people are still being found today. Here's a story that just came out. About four or five hours ago, bodies of man and a slave unearthed from ashes at Pompeii. Here's where they fell 1941 years ago. It says, skeletal remains of what are believed to have been a rich man and his male slave attempting to escape death from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius nearly 2,000 years ago have been discovered in Pompeii. Officials at the archaeological park in Italy said Saturday. The article says parts of the skull and bones of the two men were found during excavation of the ruins from what was once an elegant villa with a panoramic view of the Mediterranean Sea on the outskirts of the ancient Roman city destroyed by the volcanic eruption in 79 AD. It's the same area where a stable with the remains of three harnessed horses were excavated in 2017. It says, Pompeii officials said the men apparently escaped the initial fall of ash from Mount Vesuvius, then succumbed to a powerful volcanic blast that took place the next morning. It says, the later blast apparently invaded the area from many points surrounding and burying the victims in ash, the Pompeii officials said in a statement. It says, the remains of the two victims lying next to each other on their backs were found in a layer of gray ash at least two meters or 6.5 feet deep. As had been done with the other remains discovered at the Pompeii site, archaeologists poured liquid chalk into the cavities or voids left by the decaying bodies in the ash and pumice. It says the technique pioneered in the 1800s gives the image not only of the shape and position of the victims in the throes of death, but makes the remains seem like statues. And here's a look at how people fell 1941 years ago. It says, judging by cranial bones and teeth, one of the men was young, likely 18 to 25, with a spinal column with compressed disc. That finding led archaeologists to hypothesize that he was a young man who did manual labor, like that of a slave. Not just a guess. The other man had a robust bone structure, especially in the chest area, and died with his hands on his chest and his legs bent and spread apart. He was estimated to have been 30 to 40 years old. Pompeii officials said fragments of white paint were found near the man's face, probably remnants of a collapsed upper wall, officials said. Both skeletons were found in a side room along an underground corridor or passageway, known in ancient Roman times as a cryptoporticus, which led to the upper level of the villa. Here's a cast of the hand of one of the victims, it says... The victims were probably looking for shelter in the crypto porticus in this underground space where they thought they were better protected. Instead, on the morning of October 25th, 79 AD, a blazing cloud of volcanic material arrived in Pompeii and killed anyone it encountered on its way. It says, based on the impression of fabric folds left in the layer ash, it appeared the young man was wearing a short pleated tunic, possibly of wool. The older victim was wearing a tunic and appeared to have a mantle over his left shoulder. Mount Vesuvius remains an active volcano. While excavations continue at the site near Naples, to tourists are currently barred from the archaeological park under national and anti-COVID-19 measures. But here are looks from this site that were recently excavated, the remains of these two victims found. 
when you get buried by my stomach just growled. I hope you didn't hear that. But when you get buried by six and a half feet or two meters of ash, you remain in your position until you are dug out. And that's what apparently happened to these two victims. They were dug out in very recent times here. Volcanoes have played a big part of human history over the last few thousand years. Vesuvius, this is a site of one of the more famous eruptions. I'm going to be talking about a couple supposed victims of this blast in a future video. And what I think of that story that was written about them. Is it erasing history? Well, you'll have to tune in to find out. But that is the story of Vesuvius Pompeii. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.